What's up, everybody? Dr. Gerald Ogier here with Simply Cyber, your go-to channel for staying ahead in the industry of cybersecurity. Today, we're diving into a serious challenge that we all face, and partly the reason we all have jobs, cyber attacks. They're increasing in frequency, they're getting more difficult and more impactful, and they're just all over the place, and they're a hot mess express. But what if I told you there was a way to fight back, not just on your own, but with a global community at your side? I'm talking about crowdsourcing. Let's get into how CrowdSec is changing the game with detection, blockless, community-driven threat intelligence, and how these tools can empower you as a cybersecurity practitioner at no cost in some instances. If you've been following this channel, you know that I'm all about practical, actionable cybersecurity. And today we're focusing on a tool that can help you stay one step ahead of the bad guys. In this video, I'm gonna show you how CrowdSec helps you detect threats in real time, block malicious IPs before they can cause damage, and leverage threat intelligence from a global community, all with a free tier that's super powerful and easy to use. But more importantly, I'll show you how these tools can make your day-to-day -day work as a cyber professional more efficient, more effective, and ultimately more impactful. So stick around because by the end of this video, you'll not only see how CrowdSec can protect your systems, but how you can contribute to making the internet safer for everyone. As always, links to everything I mentioned will be in the description below. Talk about detections first. One of the biggest challenges in cybersecurity is identifying the threats as they happen. With the sheer volume of alerts that many of us deal with daily, it's easy for real threats to slip through the cracks. And that's where CrowdSec steps in, offering real-time detection. CrowdSec helps you identify and respond to threats as they happen, whether it's a brute force attack, a sophisticated port scan, or any other malicious activity. The level of detection is a game changer for practitioners because by reducing false positives and focusing on actual real threats, CrowdSec frees you up to spend your time on more strategic tasks rather than getting bogged down in the noise. So imagine having confidence that the threats you are responding to are actually real and urgent. And the best part, getting started is a breeze. You can head over to app.crowdsec.net and sign up for free. Seriously, it's just a few clicks and you're up and running with powerful detection tools that work right out of the box. This means less time on setup, more time on doing what matters, securing your environment. And the links to that so you can go sign up for free is in the description below. And in addition to detection, you can configure it to do response or take some type of action in an automated fashion, which is super powerful. I would personally start with detection first so you can see how the tool responds and what it's detecting and then allow for manual intervention before you, you know, flip the dial and let response happen and, you know, have some of these low hanging fruit things just get handled automatically by the system. So let's install the CrowdSec engine. You can see that they support multiple platforms. I'm gonna be installing mine on an Ubuntu machine. First, I need to install the CrowdSec repository so it can pull the most up-to-date version of CrowdSec. Then I actually need to install CrowdSec from that repository. Now remember, CrowdSec's just a detection engine by itself, so if you're gonna do remediations as well, you have to install a specific remediation. You can see right here, I'm installing uh, an IP tables update firewall configuration remediation. We'll install one for uh, FTP in a second and demonstrate it. Now for every CrowdSec engine, you have to enroll it. It's on my client right now, but I need to tell the server at CrowdSec that this security engine has been installed. So you can see I'm doing that right now running this command for the CSCLI console enroll on the Ubuntu box. All right, and now I've got the engine enrolled. And you'll see that I need to be able to tell it uh, that we do in fact want to enroll it. And see right there, we just go ahead and accept the enrollment. That is in fact us successfully connecting our client to CrowdSec. There's our security engine right there. You can see that I've gone ahead and actually configured 48 different scenarios. And these are things that CrowdSec's looking for. Here is the Pro FTP. I've installed Pro FTP as a service. And you can see here, it would detect the uh, brute force attacks that I'm going to be doing. And in this instance, this scenario is actually configured to remediate as true, meaning if CrowdSec detects it, uh, this particular machine being brute force attacked on FTP, it's going to take action to block that, which is, you know, super awesome. Here are the rules that it's going to be evaluating. You can see we are in fact running pro FTP on the machine right now. So let's go ahead and attempt to exercise both the detection and the remediation of this attack. All right, we've got the log file on our left. You can see we're about to run this Hydra attack. 
against the FTP server running on my uh, client machine. And you can see right there, CrowdSec begins detecting the attack and it says it banned uh, my IP address there. Looking in the CrowdSec engine, we would have been notified of the alerts. You can see a visual indicator of the, uh, the attack coming in. So let's turn our attention to block list, right? Detection's critical. CrowdSec isn't just about identifying threats, it's about stopping them cold, right? And they do this with block lists that are constantly updated by a global community of users this is where the community comes in, right? Think about it. Thousands of cyber pros like yourself contributing to a shared real-time database of known malicious IP addresses. These block lists are your preemptive strike automatically blocking threats before they even reach your network. For practitioners, this is huge. Instead of manually updating block lists or worrying about missing the latest threats, you're tapped into a community-driven resource that's always up to date. This means you can focus on more critical aspects of your job like strategy and IR. Knowing the day-to-day -day blocking of known threats is handled. And let's not forget the bigger picture. You're not just protecting your systems, you're actually contributing to a safer internet for everyone else because the things you detect and block, you know, they get updated up and then CrowdSec can help other people who have signed up and are committed and subscribed to that block list. It's like an internet neighborhood watch, right? Everybody is doing their part for a global scale of everybody blocking all the bad things. By sharing threat intelligence, we all have better defenses together. And the cool thing with the block list is you don't have to worry if like a new malicious domain got stood up because, you know, when that malicious domain gets stood up or IP address and the block list gets updated, you just are now blocking it. To me, this is like really, really powerful, especially for smaller businesses that are cash strapped or resource strapped, mid-sized businesses that don't have the capabilities to have the really high-end tools that, that do similar type things. So I, I love this application for, for that reason, among others. Now let's talk about threat intelligence. CrowdSec doesn't stop at detection and blocking, right? The next level is threat intelligence. As a cyber professional, we know that information is power. The more you know about the threats targeting your network, the better you can defend against them. And CrowdSec's Threat Intelligence API gives you access to deep insights into potential threats, helping you stay ahead of attackers before they even get close. It isn't just about reacting to what's already happening either. It's about proactively hunting threats and understanding the broader landscape, whether you're a SOC analyst diving into threat data or a chief information security officer making strategic decisions. CrowdSec's Threat Intelligence tools provide the insights you need to act decisively. And again, you can access this on the free tier. It's not just about raw data. CrowdSec offers consolidated data visualization, making it easier to spot patterns, identify trends, and make informed decisions. This is a huge time saver turning what could be hours of data analysis into a quick, actionable overview. Great points, Jerry, but why CrowdSec? In a world where cyber threats are more relentless than ever, having a tool that not only protects you, but also taps into a global community is pretty powerful. With CrowdSec's free tier, you get access to powerful detections, block lists, and threat intelligence all at no cost. Plus, you're part of a movement that's making the internet safer for everyone. Again, I love community. For practitioners, this means having more time to focus on high impact tasks, less time worrying about false positives and manual updates, and more confident that you're protected by a community that's got your back. I've always believed that cybersecurity is a team effort and CrowdSec embodies that philosophy. So if you're ready to step up your cybersecurity game, sign up for CrowdSec's free tier today, start protecting your systems with the power of community-driven security. You'll find a link in the description below. Don't miss out on the opportunity to be part of something bigger. This isn't just about using a tool. It's about joining a movement that's changing the way that we approach cybersecurity. I want to say thanks for watching, everyone. If you found the video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe. Obviously, if you like content like this, Simply Cyber is always cranking out content. Let's keep going together. If you're interested in Threat Intel, check out this video. I think you will find it very interesting. Until next time, stay secure.